Hey guys, welcome to another episode. In this one, I'm very excited to share that I got another strawberry variety. And this one was actually given to me. I don't know if they want me to mention their names, but if you're watching this, know that I really, really appreciate this. I've been wanting to get one. They're hard to find, or at least I haven't seen very many of them. And um, I've been wanting one for a while because it's another variety of a pine berry and this, is, this one specifically is called a hula berry. So back, the history behind it is also really cool. So back in the 17th and 18th century, uh, a strawberry variety in nor from North and South America were brought over to Europe. These varieties were planted together and those varieties produced the modern strawberry that we all love today. And however, these also produced white and pink strawberries as well and a dutch grower which is very cool you know i'm the dutchman so i'm from holland born and raised <laughs> so this grower uh, took the white seedlings and perfected it by crossing and breeding it and came up in the end with the hula berry so it has a cool history behind it and um, a little bit of info behind it too is that it is a June bearing variety, which means I'll get one big crop, kind of like uh, what my All Star does as well. And uh, then it's pretty much done. I believe it pro it'll produce uh, June into July, maybe early August is what I was reading. But we'll see. I'll plant them out and uh, just see how they do. I believe there are about six plants in here, six individual strawberries. And I also have to mention that. It, they were looking a little worse for wear, <laughs> um, so I spruced them all up. Unfortunately, I didn't take any pictures of that. I really wish I had, but I didn't. Um, but now, this is now a couple weeks later. I've had them for a couple weeks because I wanted to spruce them up, make them look all good. And they're, they're looking very nice. They're, they're starting to, there's some new growth that is starting to happen in here. I did, however, pot up all the, uh, the little side runners that were off of it because it was just... It had a bunch of runners coming off of it and it was just draining the, the strawberries pretty severely. So I took them all off, let the strawberries recover and they're looking really excellent now. So what I'm going to do with these uh, pine berries or hula berries is that I'll have to find some spots to put them out in and um, just kind of see, see how they react. Now, as I said, there's about six plants in here, six individual hula berries. However, the way that these come is that there's also another variety, which is a cross pollinator planted in here. That variety is called Sonata. And uh, that's also a Dutch variety. So I kind of, I kind of want to separate it out. Uh, problem is there's no way of knowing what the Sonata is in here. I, you really can't tell me the difference currently. So I'm going to have to just let this grow and um, next spring just kind of see if there's some type of identifying feature about the Sonata that I can tell apart so I can separate it out. Because obviously the predominant one is going to be the hula berry. It's just going to be the other one that's going to be a little bit different. There's just no way of telling that right now. Um, unfortunately, you would think you can tell by the strawberries, but unfortunately that's not really true because about 10% is apparently the only ones that stay white and everything else will still turn red. So it's that's not very reliable. I'll just have to grow them out and just kind of see what happens and see if I can, like I said, see some identifying markers on there. That's, that's really all I can do. So. Uh, this year, for now, I'm just going to let them grow, let them get big, let them get strong. They might send out some runners, I might pot some of those up. Of course, I've got these guys here, which again, I have no idea which ones are the hula berries. But I know there's a lot of them, I just can't really tell which ones are Sonata, which ones are hula berries yet. But um, I'll just have to kind of to try to separate them out as I go along and see if I can see some identifying markers on them, like I said. but. That's really all I have to share. I'm very excited. This will, this is another strawberry variety that I really didn't expect to have, but I have it now. I'm gonna have to find space for them. I do have a couple spots where I can put some. So that's probably what I'll do uh, when I know for sure 
bought a Hulaberry, which ones are Hulaberry and which one are Sonata. I'll probably grow the Sonata separately as well, just because it's another cool variety to have. But um, yeah, that's all I got. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Tot de volgende keer.